Well, I was just looking at the original paint on the uh, the old dots in 320, and uh, I was thinking, you know, as old as this is, I mean, yeah, the paint was oxidized when I first got it, but I did a little light buffing on it, nothing crazy, because I didn't want to remove any paint, just the oxidation, uh, using the 3M... Uh, buffing compound. I like how these fenders are here. See that little groove there? But uh, you know the the hood, the fitment on the hood here where the fender meets on down it's just it's ridiculous that it stayed so nice and everything fits so well. And you got the uh, primer coming through but you know really it's amazing that this paint has stayed so nice to the point where I mean heck you just polish it and it comes back I know there's a lot of people that don't like the uh, the original originality of a car they like to strip them down, paint them, uh, get some crushed velvet button tuck upholstery going on, and uh, of course, got to debadge everything, dechrome it all, throw all that stuff away, and, uh, spray paint her black, flat black, make a rat rod out of it. Let's hope that doesn't happen. But you know, the fitment of the bed to the cab is just, it's right. It's all just correct and nice. Now, I'm not sure what they were doing with this. But uh, I guess put your screwdriver in there. In fact, I'll get a screwdriver and try that out. I'm sure, it works great. Uh, you always got a coin in the steering wheel here. You know that that needs to be gone over there and fixed. So you can certainly do that on a weekend adventure. But the seats really nice. You know, really everything that. Just awesome, beautiful. Well, we haven't looked at the headliner or the lack thereof. Oh, let's let's take a look at that sun visor. Now, folks are going to say, "Hey, care, why don't you unscrew that off of there?" Because it's looks like it's all homemade. But my answer is, why do it? I mean, I think it just, it's patina. Patina's good. Here's your subwoofer for the system. It looks like that has, or is that a heater? No, that's, I think that's your speaker there. Your subwoofer. Uh, we're looking up here, you know, all the components are there. All the parts and pieces are here with the truck. Uh, not sure if the radio works. It will sure as heck tune, though, won't it? Look at that. Looking in the ashtray here, we don't find any roaches to smoke. Darn it. This is still my favorite here, this little wire deal. Now, I'm not going to remove that. that. That's there permanently, as far as I'm concerned. It's just part of the truck. It's cool. You know, other than being discolored, uh, there is just no rust anywhere on this truck except for those rockers, the, the, that outer... Uh, corner of the rocker panel and a, a puppy 
that's that's the other good thing about it is the puppy what are you doing buddy uh oh now here's something else that's kind of interesting about this i don't know any you know what is that it's just a little emblem did somebody put that there i mean it's stuck on there really good it's kind of cool look how straight the sides of this truck are straight and clean arizona truck arizona and new mexico that's where you're going to find the best metal that's why there's always a premium price on said metal because they last forever well that concludes our walk around on the original paint it's got the uh, 60 horsepower badge 60 horsepower just imagine that. Boy, when this truck first came out, somebody looked at that and they thought, 60 horsepower? Uh, a VW Beetle's only 36. So this thing's got to be a monster. I'm sure it was when it was brand new. I can imagine, imagine the guy that bought this brand new off the lot and how excited he was about this uh, little truck he took it home it was all shiny and new his family came out of the house oh look at that jimmy got a new truck they said oh no let's go for a ride so the whole family hopped in the back and they went to the malt shop 1963. you know something has really lasted a long time when the original antenna is still on the vehicle now the little ball got snapped off to off of there but we can always find a little ball all right this video is way too long and yet another cool feature with the 63 now they changed this in 64 i believe this was a, I think, a 63 only year. I'm not sure. Maybe it was 62 as well. But the little round turn signal running light there. And then this grill. They had incorporated the turn signals inside the grill on the 64. It's just not as cool looking, I don't think. I mean, it's still cool, but not as cool as this. Because that is cool. I mean, you, got, you must admit that. Something also neat here is you can do that not really see the roof of the car and then you go whoa 